Good morning, YouTube. Mark Fleetwood here. Welcome back to the Daily Grind Trader. Today, I want to do a quick video. I'm outside drinking my coffee before work, and it's uh, it's actually relatively cold out today. But uh, one thing I learned from someone who's much smarter than myself, get outside, get some real sunlight immediately after you wake up, and it helps you really get your day going. So I want to share that as well. But today, I want to talk about um, a question I've been asked a lot from people in my real life circle, like people that I... I interact with at work or friends or friends of friends or friends of family who ask me how do you set up a, an investment account for crypto if you want to get into crypto um, how would you delegate your money so this is going to borderline and i want to make sure to clarify it's not financial advice this is just me giving a couple scenarios of how i would uh, delegate my money so we're going to do this with potentially a one thousand or ten thousand dollar or however much you have we're gonna break it down in percentages. So a very conservative approach for me, um, a conservative approach would be 50% directly into Bitcoin. Hold that there, take 25% and either put into Ethereum or XRP. These are both very high cap altcoins that will not, will likely not fail anytime in the near future at all. So your money is safe 25% with Ethereum or XRP. Now, you have two more 10% breakdowns. Um, I would have one more high cap coin. A, uh, just a couple of, uh, couple of suggestions would be Link, Matic, AVEX, something in that range, something in the uh, seven to 30 uh, market cap range. Um, even something along the lines of uh, Soul could go into that. And another 10% into the kind of a mid tier range. XDC, XLM, HBAR, uh, VeChain, any of those coins in that mid-tier range from you know, 25 to 100. Um, we're going to that 10%. That leaves you with a 5% left over, and this is where it's going to be your low cap, high risk. Um, your 5%, uh, something in the second or third page of coin market cap. And again, you have to do your own due diligence with this and do your own research to find out which ones you want to choose. But I'm going to give a couple more examples. Something along the lines of a Raven coin, uh, Moonbeam, Falcon Forged. Um, these are different coins that do different things. Raven is for real world assets. Um, Glimmer Moonbeam is a layer one for the uh, Cosmos network, I believe. And uh, Vulcan Forge is a gaming studio. So you have some options there at that at that range. And those coins are the ones, the 5% in the low cap are the ones that could die off or they could go 100x so you can't put all your eggs in that basket um, it's a very risky basket now the more aggressive approach that i would also suggest as a possibility but it is more aggressive you do have a higher chance of losing some of your money um, put 20 percent into bitcoin 30 percent into either xrp or ethereum then you have 20 percent in a soul or a matic or link or avex and 20% into an H bar, an XDC, V chain. Um, so you have your you have your top two alts, your top Bitcoin. You have a 20% stake in a high cap, a 20% stake in a mid cap, and that gives you a 10% chance or a 10% additional leftover stake for for smaller cap coins. Now with this, with aggressive, I would go low cap, and actually go low cap with a gaming coin, something with under 100 million dollars or maybe even split it up into two or three if you can take 300 dollars into uh star atlas wilder cryo war um even some that might still be in a uh, ico or something that money is the one those are the coins that could potentially 100 to 1000 x and you could potentially make all of your money and then some off of just one coin at 300 dollars but you have to be safe, play the odds, put the longer risk, higher odd coins into the smaller amounts. Hope you guys got something from this video. Hope you enjoyed. As always, until next time, peace.